The debate continues tonight. The CEO of the company flying a huge American flag in Statesville says he will pay the fine, but he will not take the flag down. The flag is three times the size allowed by the city ordinance. And today, the mayor announced he wants to change that ordinance because this controversy has had a negative impact on local businesses. NBC Charlotte's Chloe Leshner is in Statesville with more. The CEO of Camping World is doubling down on his argument and says this flag will continue to fly. He says he's even willing to go to jail over this debate. A huge show of patriotism at the center of a legal debate in Statesville. The flag is not coming down under any circumstance. The CEO of Camping World, Marcus Limonis, is being sued by the city of Statesville over this 40 by 80 foot flag flying at Gander RV next to I-77. The city's ordinance limits flags to 25 by 40 feet. I don't advocate an ordinance being broken, period. Let's start with that. In this particular case, I feel like the ordinance was flawed. The city has been pushing Camping World to replace it with a smaller flag and is attempting to fine them $50 a day, dating all the way back to October 2018. Backlash to the city's response was swift and widespread. The city or leave this thing alone and let it go. Today, the mayor proposed a change in the ordinance that would allow the flag to fly freely. Only now, since the public outcry has happened, is all of a sudden magically a, uh, an emergency amendment happening. Lamonis says he hasn't heard from the mayor personally. He says the city shouldn't put any restriction on the size of a flag. The flagpole or the flag size should not be regulated as long as the health, wellness and safety of people are not in question. The city council will vote on that ordinance change in July. Until then, the CEO insists the flag is staying put. In Statesville, Chloe Leshner, NBC Charlotte.